Earth's fiery giants, volcanoes. Volcanoes are like giant chimneys from Earth's deep interior. They release molten rock, ash, and gases. Imagine a pot of boiling water with steam escaping. Volcanoes are similar, but instead of water, it's molten rock called magma. When magma reaches the Earth's surface, we call it lava. They can be destructive, but they also help create new land. Volcanoes are found all over the world. Some are active, meaning they erupt frequently. Learning about volcanoes helps us understand our planet better. Deep beneath Earth's surface, temperatures are incredibly hot. This heat melts rock, creating magma. The Earth's outer layer, called the crust, is broken into large pieces called tectonic plates. These plates float on top of the semi-molten mantle. Sometimes these plates move, and magma, being lighter than the surrounding rock, rises up through cracks and weaknesses in the Earth's crust. As magma rises, it collects in magma chambers beneath the Earth's surface. Pressure builds up inside these chambers. Eventually, the pressure becomes too great, and the magma erupts through an opening called a vent. Explosive eruptions are violent, throwing ash and rock high into the air. Effusive eruptions are gentler, with lava flowing out like a river of fire. Not all volcanoes are created equal. Just like there are different types of dogs, there are different types of volcanoes. Each type has its own unique characteristics and eruption style. Let's explore three main types, shield volcanoes, composite volcanoes, and cinder cone volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are like the gentle giants of the volcano world. They are broad and dome-shaped, formed by runny, fast-flowing lava. Imagine pouring syrup on a pancake. It spreads out in a wide, thin layer. The Hawaiian Islands are a prime example of shield volcanoes. Composite volcanoes, also known as stratovolcanoes, are the classic cone-shaped volcanoes we often picture. They are formed by layers of lava, ash, and rock, giving them a steep symmetrical profile. Composite volcanoes are known for their explosive eruptions, which can be incredibly dangerous. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in the United States are examples of composite volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes are the smallest and simplest type of volcano. Throughout history, volcanic eruptions have shaped civilizations and left an indelible mark on our planet. Some eruptions have been incredibly destructive, causing widespread damage and loss of life. One of the most famous volcanic eruptions in history is that of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The eruption buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum under a thick layer of ash and pumice. The ash preserved the cities so well that today, we can walk through the streets and get a glimpse of life in Roman times. Another devastating eruption was that of Krakatoa in 1883. The eruption, which was heard thousands of miles away, generated a tsunami that killed tens of thousands of people. Volcanic eruptions can also have positive impacts. The rich volcanic soils found in many parts of the world are incredibly fertile, thanks to the nutrients released during eruptions. Predicting volcanic eruptions is a complex and challenging task. However, scientists have developed sophisticated tools and techniques to monitor volcanoes and look for signs of unrest. By studying these signs, scientists can issue warnings and help keep people safe. One way scientists monitor volcanoes is by tracking changes in the ground surface. Before an eruption, magma rising beneath the surface can cause the ground to swell or bulge. Scientists use instruments called tilt meters and GPS receivers to measure even the slightest changes in ground deformation. Scientists also monitor seismic activity around volcanoes. As magma moves beneath the surface, it can cause earthquakes. Seismographs are used to detect these earthquakes, which can indicate that an eruption is imminent. 
gas emissions are another important indicator of volcanic activity. Scientists measure the concentration of these gases in the air to assess the likelihood of an eruption. While predicting the exact timing and magnitude of a volcanic eruption is difficult, there are often warning signs that magma is on the move and an eruption might be imminent. These warning signs are nature's way of telling us that something is brewing beneath the surface. One of the most obvious warning signs is ground deformation. If the ground around a volcano starts to bulge or swell, it's a clear indication that magma is rising and pushing upward. Increased seismic activity is another telltale sign. As magma forces its way through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust, it generates earthquakes. The frequency and intensity of these earthquakes can increase as the magma gets closer to the surface. Changes in gas emissions are another important clue. An increase in the concentration of these gases in the air around a volcano can indicate that magma is nearing the surface and an eruption is becoming more likely. Living near an active volcano can be both awe-inspiring and nerve-wracking. While the beauty and power of volcanoes are undeniable, it's important to be prepared for the potential hazards they pose. Knowing what to do before, during and after an eruption can help keep you and your loved ones safe. Before an eruption, it's crucial to have an emergency plan in place. This plan should include evacuation routes, meeting places and a communication strategy. Make sure everyone in your household knows the plan and practices it regularly. It's also a good idea to have an emergency kit prepared with essential supplies like food, water, first aid supplies, and a battery-powered radio. During an eruption, the most important thing is to stay calm and follow the instructions of local authorities. If an evacuation order is issued, leave immediately and don't try to outrun the eruption. After an eruption, it's important to be cautious and aware of the potential hazards that may still exist. Listen to local news reports for updates and instructions from authorities. Living near an active volcano comes with inherent risks, but it also offers unique benefits. Volcanic regions are often characterized by stunning natural beauty, fertile soils, and geothermal energy resources. Understanding both the risks and benefits can help us coexist with these powerful forces of nature. One of the most significant benefits of living near volcanoes is the fertile soil they produce. Volcanic ash and lava break down over time, releasing nutrients that enrich the soil. This makes volcanic regions ideal for agriculture, supporting a wide variety of crops. Some of the most productive agricultural lands in the world are found in volcanic regions. Volcanoes also provide a source of geothermal energy. Geothermal energy harnesses the heat from within the earth to generate electricity. This renewable energy source is clean, sustainable, and can provide a significant power source for communities living near volcanoes. However, living near volcanoes also comes with inherent risks. Volcanoes are awe-inspiring geological features that remind us of the immense power that lies beneath Earth's surface. They are capable of both incredible destruction and creation, shaping landscapes and influencing human history. By understanding how volcanoes work, monitoring their activity and heeding warning signs, we can mitigate risks and live more safely in volcanic regions. By respecting their power and understanding their behaviour, we can coexist with these forces of nature and appreciate the beauty and wonder they bring to our world.